Hi guys, I'm doing a quick video to show you how to take a single size rack card and you're going to do multiples per page and then you're going to print it double sided. So I grabbed designs that are already on the Canva group. Um, so you have access to these if you want. This one has the scent stickers and there's six pages. I just grabbed one that I didn't need to edit. This is the join portion. Okay. You're going to go over and tell it to download and you need to pick your two pages, especially it has multiples. You can download each page one at a time. Right now you just need the PNG, but you can download them one at a time. Or if you download both at the same time, click done, download. It will show up in your downloads as a, right there, it will show up as a an, um, compressed file. You have to extract it first, okay? So I'm going to tell it to extract all. There it is right here with my two designs. Now I am going to go to Canva and go up to the top right corner it says create a design and you're going to type in trifold. There's a reason. You can do trifold or you can tell it to just do a custom size right here and tell it 11 by 8 and a half. Um, so yeah, so there's my brochure size. It says 11 by 8 and a half. And the trifold will give you the gray guidelines. It will not print with the gray, but that way you kind of have an idea of where to lock in your graphics. So upload your images and here they are right here. Bam, bam. Now, if you are on a desktop, this is a little bit easier than if you are on a mobile, but they can be done either way. You're going to take your graphic and you're going to put it in and you'll have to size it. Okay. There you go and you're going to, I try to center it, I'm going to duplicate it, and the next one should lock right in the middle, those crosshairs, which means my other one is not centered. Does it matter? No, but if you go to cut them and you don't cut them correctly, it'll, it'll be wonky. And duplicate one more time, and drag click. If you're on a, okay, so now that I've got three in a row, because I'm printing three, if you want to, you can do it vertical, it's just more stuff to chop off the top and bottom. I'm going to click duplicate on this and this is where it's different on the mobile. If you're on the desktop, you can take your new de new design and snap it in place. If you are on a mobile, you have to delete the one, add the new one, and then resize it. But, And then you can just click duplicate like we did the first page. And ta-da! So now I've got one page with three and the back side with three. You're gonna go to share and tell it to download again. And we want both both sides. Um, I suggest doing it as a PDF. If you really wanted to do it as the PNG, you're welcome to. I feel the PDF prints a little bit better. And I'm gonna select PDF print. And it says two pages. And I make sure I, my printer has multiple options for printing so I always click the professional printing. One other thing with PDFs I always recommend that you click flatten especially if you did not just use uploads. If you've actually created your design and you've got multiple layers everywhere you need to flatten them because my printer has a tendency that it will shift some of the letters or the words that the text won't stay in the same spot um, but that's what flatten does. It just squishes it into one flat layer so there aren't any memory issues. That's the best that way I can describe it. So you click flatten and you tell it to download. Okay, so I've already done that. And here's the download. Three per page of the stickers. Three per page of that. I'm going to go tell it to print. Now, let's see. Make sure it's in color. And you tell it to print both sides. We are doing horizontal. If you're flipping pages naturally, do you flip your pages this way or do you flip your pages up and down? That's what you need to know. Okay, so for this instance with rack cards, I want my rack cards flipped side by side. So right here, we're going to flip on the short edge because that's your eight and a half by eight and a half. You don't want it to flip on the 11 side, your long edge, because it'll flip top to bottom. But if it prints the other way, it's not really going to hurt you. <laughs> Click.
flip on both sides. Um, print on both sides, flip on short edge. You can check the other settings, make sure it's printable, or you can do the 100% actual size. Your printer might cut off the edges. So um, if you're doing stickers, you want actual size. If you're doing printable like PDFs, do it this way. Okay, and that's about it. You follow directions on your printer. If it does auto for double-sided, that's awesome. If it does manual, it'll give you directions on how to take them out and reinsert them. If you can only print one page at a time and then flip it over and print the other page at a time, that works too. But um, I hope that helped. Let me know if you have any questions.